research on a uh, kayak and uh, I owned a uh, Swifty 9.5 earlier and really enjoyed it but uh, for personal reasons ended up getting rid of it um, did a little bit of research online actually quite a bit of research which is what I usually do before I buy anything and found this one kayak that really hasn't had a lot of views on it uh, or a lot of reviews As a matter of fact I haven't seen anything on YouTube at all so I figured I would go ahead and I for the first time in a long time I uh, actually dive my uh, or dip my toes into the water first before a lot of the reviews came up and give it a shot and since there wasn't a whole lot of reviews out there I figured I'd go ahead and maybe throw my own in uh, I by far am NOT an expert kayaker uh, like I said I've only owned one kayak prior to and uh, I just really like the look of this I like the uh, the sit-in style helps protect me from the elements uh, helps keep my uh, uh, my legs from burning because the yeah, Sun is not kind to me and I also like the fact that this one had a chair. Uh, the only problem was is when I ordered it online, the nearest store was uh, about an hour drive from the house. Uh, luckily, uh, my work is about halfway in between the two. But since it's such a beautiful uh, summer afternoon, uh, Friday, figured I'd go ahead and uh, grab onto it and uh, pick it up the next day. Uh, they got the curbside pickup thanks to the uh, COVID-19. So we're gonna be pulling up to Dick's now and I'm gonna go ahead and check in via the email and have them bring it up uh, yeah I'm saying a lot of ants my uh, public uh, speaking professor would be killing me right now uh, kind of doing this impromptu though so oh, we'll see about uh, getting some review on this and getting my thoughts and like I said take it for what it's worth I am NOT an expert but at least it'll be something to get a better look at it picked up and uh, tied down to the uh, racks now um, one thing I did notice as I was tying it down and moving it around is there was a little bit of flex to the hole now uh, I know Pelican puts out a pretty good product uh, I've seen a lot of good reviews on most of their other stuff and while their uh, stuff does flex up uh, some it seems to be rather uh, durable uh, if I remember right from reading the specs I'll go over that stuff later it's made out of an RX uh, high density uh, po uh, polyurethane not polyurethane uh, yeah. I'll, like I said I'll go over the specs later uh, big words I'm just a simple guy uh, but yeah I got it all tied up to the roof right now uh, gonna get it on home probably uh, sit it up in my living room and kind of go over some uh, original thoughts from just seeing it firsthand for the first time and we'll go from there all right so it took a little bit to uh finally try and track down a place where i can drop off the kayaks and uh we'll actually bring in my uh my kayak partner safety first always bring a kayak partner if you can here's my best friend of almost 30 years say hi mel hi <laughs> Yeah, that's my uh, kayak partner, kayak partner, um, ladies. She's single, so if you want a kayak partner, you can hit her up. <laughs> uh, so we're here at uh, what's what's the name of this place called? Freeways Lake. Freeway, Free, Freeway Lake. Freeway Lake. Freeway Lake uh, here in Albany, Southside. Um, not too bad. It's a little busy today. It's a beautiful Saturday. Uh, got the interstate rolling on over on the other side this lake goes underneath the interstate i-5 um, she's brought out her perception swifty no. and she's working on that all five foot of her or five foot two sorry <laughs> and we brought her a little corgi summer so uh like i said once we get it in the water i'll uh, kind of go over a few things and maybe i uh, get determination and work on trying to there's corgi there's summer and uh, like I said, get some thoughts on this whole thing. So I just got her out into the water. Um, I will have to say the first impression is the seat is extremely comfortable. Uh, she seems to track moderately well. I and mean, you aren't gonna be winning any races with this thing, of course. Like I said, it's a recreational. It's, I've got it for uh, about $360 off picks. Um, it does have a little bit of wobble. I haven't tried getting her up to speed at all. 
but this is a nice little uh, you know, just paddle about. Uh, my main thing is I'm going to be uh, using this for fishing later on down the road. Let's see if I can turn this around. One of the things I do like about oh technology, come on. I guess I'll have to go over this stuff later. Uh, but one of the things I do like about this is it has the uh, racks right there that you can install various. <laughs> Mel talking about her uh, corgi running in there. <laughs> anyway, back to the review. Um, and it's got the rack, so I can put a cup holder in here. I can put, uh, you know, front-facing fishing pole because being a disabled veteran, I do have uh, a little bit of back issues. So kind of reaching around to try and grab a pole isn't exactly uh, good for me. Um, so it's nice to have the racks right up here up front. Um, the front uh, cargo hold area, it, do, the, it doesn't have a recession, so it, there's a pro to that. Um, you won't have water pulling up in it. But it also, you'll have to be careful about what you put up there if you don't want it falling off. Um, always waterproof your devices, stuff like that. Uh, but if you do put something up there, I would definitely keep uh, like maybe some sort of floaties in there. So like maybe your fishing boards you know, with a couple of styrofoam blocks, just so if you do happen to drop it over the side, you can easily grab it. Uh, one of the things that I noticed when I was playing around with it at home was the... Uh, the watertight, I wouldn't say watertight cargo hold, um, once again, waterproof your stuff, uh, but the uh, dry storage in the back, um, the seal on it doesn't look like it would completely seal, so it would definitely protect things, but if you ever capsize, I would recommend anything that, uh, you know, is important to you in life, uh, go ahead and make sure it's in a waterproof container, um, extra clothes, stuff like that, and if you don't mind them happen to dry out a little bit in case you capsize yeah that would work as well but you know, rule of thumb if it's important waterproof it but it's a beautiful day out here uh, like i said this thing travels really well let me kind of lean back the uh the seat uh, adjustment was really easy to do even while sitting in the kayak in the middle of the water just kind of lean forward a little bit grab the straps pull them forward to where it got nice and comfortable Let's see, just that one just that one uh, and for making a lean back, just kind of flip the things back a little bit. Oh yeah, so that's easy to do adjustment in the, while in the water. So if you don't get it right the first time, don't worry about it too much. Uh, the foot pedals there would be a little bit of a different story. Um, I would start out with them long, and then as you get in, uh, well, at least the first time, you know, if you have you've got a bunch of bikers going by. quiet down a little bit uh, but for the foot pedals um, it was really kind of nice uh, the Swifty I had they are kind of a pain to adjust as I was inside um, this one if I just push the foot right behind me it went really easy up to where I could adjust it to the point where I was comfortable so I left them a little long and then as I was going I was just kind of sliding them up uh, trying to move them back might be a different story I'd probably have to land my boat Looks like we're gonna go under the bridge here. Got Mel with the Corgi. Uh, so far overly, uh, I mean, for the money, I'm really kind of impressed. This uh, plastic that they use, like I said, I'll go over the uh, stats later. I'll probably maybe put it in the earlier part of my uh, video, but that'll be uh, at home when I do the video editing. Stick it in reverse here. Get back under the bridge here. Have good lighting. Um, but the overall material seems uh, I guess they're really flexible, but it's also uh, seems really good quality. It does it rebounds quickly. I had it on my car, uh, kind of bounced it around, and you know cinched it down. You can see it flex, but it easily went back to its original position. Doesn't look like there's any dents, damage, stuff like that. So the stuff that they use, yeah, it's I, mean, it's I actually think it's a lot lighter. Looks like I had a wrong button while I was. Uh, doing this but yeah no Mel's kayak over there the Swifty I think I'll have to take a look at the uh, the um, specifications but I actually think that my kayak is lighter than hers even though mine is about five inches longer hers seems a lot more rigid um, I know those perception Swifties are very durable uh, you know had one before and we beat the hell out of it and it still just held up to everything
uh, hardly any scratches at all. I mean, very minor, very minor scratches. Uh, but this is, it seems just as durable, but a bit lighter. I think this uh, came in at uh, 47, 46 pounds, uh, if I remember from the stat sheet. Um, the knee pads are a nice little touch. I mean, they're not real thick, but it does add a little bit of layer of protection. Uh, like I said, the biggest thing is the this, this seat. I love this seat. It is friggin' comfortable for kayaking. I could spend quite a bit of time in this. And like I said, I don't exactly have the greatest back in the world. Um, so I, I could definitely see myself turning this into a fishing kayak and spending some time out in the water trying to catch some trout. Or... But yeah, it's a beautiful day. Um, so I'll paddle around a little bit more, maybe kind of get some more ideas, try and get this up to speed. And when I get back to shore or back to home, I'll throw some final thoughts together about it. So just got done paddling around on lake and this thing worked really well um a lot of the times when i stopped paddling it would continue to go into straight lines that was one thing that i noticed over my uh, swift that i had a while back uh, whenever i was trying to paddle with that one um and stop paddling it would kind of veer off one direction if i remember right it was mainly to the left uh just going over a couple of the things here um i do like having this i haven't used it yet but i'm pretty sure i will in the future you know at least maybe as a small cooler i could probably use that um, i did get myself a uh, floating cooler off a small auction site on facebook uh, for local but uh, this bag is actually a lot larger than i thought it was going to be so i can probably like i said throw a little bit of ice in there and i can put some drinks in there and you know that way uh, i can keep some stuff cold on a longer trip or um i almost thought about uh, using uh, some ice and some water and maybe kind of using that as a live well if I do go fishing with it. It does have these flush mount rod holders. Um, I probably won't be using those too much uh, just because, like I said, I don't want to turn around too much. Uh, disabled veteran, I do have uh, not the best back in the world. I do like this, the removable seat. Let me get my oars out of the way. Oh, and yeah, if you ever go uh, out kayaking, you know, please uh, clean up after yourselves uh one of the things we try and do whenever we head out is we'll try and grab any floaties and stuff out that are sitting out in the water so not only does it add to my tackle box but it also makes the place a lot cleaner so i got me a couple new uh, uh bobbers and another lure so let me go ahead and move this out uh, and always get yourself some good paddles these are uh, oh, one thing I did notice with this sit-in style, um, I did have to kind of reach out over the sides quite a bit with a 230 centimeter uh, set of oars. So maybe if you got short arms like me, you know, T-Rex style, you might want to get a little bit longer uh, set of oars. Uh, the 230s are good, but like I said, I had to do a lot of side-to-side -side movement with my arms trying to uh, keep... Uh, some good momentum going so maybe a little bit longer paddle than uh, recommended 230 um, but here's a removable seat like i said it was really comfortable really easy to adjust while in you just grab and pull uh, the one thing i did notice though is if you do put a little bit of pressure on it like when i was stretching my back a little bit once in a while it would want to slide back um, you got the foot pedals down in there don't know if you can see them there they are like I said, really easy to adjust with my feet. Once I got into the water, I just kind of pulled them up. And of course, getting them to move back is a different story while you're in the water. So, recommend having them long. You can always adjust them towards you, not away from you. Didn't utilize this today, but I know that'll come in handy later on. Just a nice little water bottle holder. And it's actually not, and it's not the strongest flask in the world, but it's definitely looks like it's flexible, durable. It does have some flotation blocks added to it. 
So if you do flip it for some oddball reason, it should stay afloat. Uh, going back to the seat, like I said, if you let me kind of do, do this one-handed, if I can, grab, pull, and, and okay, maybe I need to do this two-handed. Give me a quick sec. It is easy to get out two-handed. Hey, you're looking at the sky, my bad. But, you know, let me cut out just in case. So I wasn't sure if I flipped the video or not, so I just wanted to go ahead and uh, restart this. Um, so, yeah, if you want, you now have a little uh, sit-in lawn chair. If you're going on long trips and you don't want to sit on, uh, like, an embankment, you know, you can enjoy a, a lunch or something. Uh, moving up forward, like I said, got knee uh, brackets. They're not a whole lot of padding, but it definitely does help compared to the rest of the hole, especially when you have edges and bumps. Uh, just kind of smooths the surface out, makes it a little bit easier on the long trip. This right here, um, yeah, you can put uh, another cup holder there or a cup. I mean, it just seems to me like a little bit of redundancy. Uh, so I tried putting my phone in there for a bit. Uh, it does secure it really well. Um, but if I wanted to, you know, take any video or something, I would have to use a uh, mount with these uh, on these uh, uh, universal holders right there, uh, universal racks. That's what I'm looking for. Um, but uh, do love the color. I that was honestly that was kind of one of the things that drawn me to it is I do love the color scheme on it. Um, I usually, uh, you know, when I did a lot of research before, I wanted to stay away from the the two or the uh, the two part. Uh, kayaks because I've heard you know a lot of the lower end ones would split after a while right where the weld is at right there but this uh, construction seems pretty seamless um, it should last me a while like I said sharp looking little kayak I did get a couple uh, people looking at it and um, we do have the kayak holder and one of the lures I kind of tied off to this and was kind of trolling I didn't figure I'd catch anything but I figured eh, why not stick go ahead and stick the lure that I found in the water and see what happens um, is that overall is it really good construction I think for you know a sub 400 uh, kayak uh, tracked well uh, stayed straight and the material it's made out of is Ramex um, like I said it seems a lot lighter than uh, Mel's little Swifty over there but uh, it seems really durable as well. Uh, just a couple of the cons. Uh, like I said, the seal in here doesn't seem like it's a complete uh, water tight. So that might be an issue if you really think about it. It does seem a little flimsy, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, like I said, you can use it for a few different things, it looks like. Um, the universal mounts are plastic so nothing too heavy but they do seem to be a bit thick so you shouldn't have to worry about that should be easy with any rod holder uh, if you get those the handles on it i kind of like um i downfall on that is once in a while like right now i'm in the market for uh a uh, kayak rack for the roof of my rig and these molded ones are really easy to tie down to and not have any issues. Um, these string ones did worry me a little bit when it came down to tying them down. So I, you know, tied them down, um, just a couple ratchet straps over the top. And then I used, uh, as you saw, as you saw in the earlier video, um, one to kind of keep it attached to the front of the car in case one of the other straps fails. Um, and for 360, dollars uh 369 99 i think is what i ended up paying for it on sale really nice little kayak to have fun with um looks like got a lot of different options uh stick a gopro on the front of there uh, you can uh, you know just adapt it a little bit uh rod holder cup holder uh you know if you stop by and get the set 11 big gulp and you can't fit it in that one and a little worried about it in the strap you can probably find a cup holder for that rack uh, probably get some sort of storage device up there so you can easily grab your lures and your weights or your bait uh, 
no, it's like I said, I'm overall really happy with this thing. Uh, I'll be using it quite a bit. Uh, and I may throw together some more videos as I use it since, like I said, there's not a whole lot of uh, reviews on there with it. Anyway, going to get loaded up and head back uh, and I'll prep the rest of the video and see if I get this up there. So anybody interested in uh, taking a look at this kayak or getting a little better review or feel of it, you know, well, you'll have more of an option than just the company uh, Pelican uh, video and the three reviews that I found online. As you can see, I got this from Dick's Sporting Goods. You can uh, see the picture of it up there. $369.98, $370. Um, says not available in Clackus anymore because, of course, I snagged the last one that they had since they didn't have it close to me at my local Dick's Sporting Goods. Decided to head up there and grab it. Uh, I was really interested in the color scheme on this one. For some reason, it really stood out to me. Uh, that and the removable seat. That was a couple of things that really kind of hooked me into giving this one a shot. Even though most of the time I do a lot of reviews before I even pick up anything. And when I saw this one, it only had three reviews online and I tried to find some on YouTube and the only video that I saw was that from the Pelican Company. So that's one of the reasons why I decided I was going to do this video. Uh, the three reviews were mixed. There was a five star uh, saying, you know, that they love the thing. Uh, that individual was five foot 11, 200 pounds. Another one was a four star. Uh, they said they're about five, seven, 160 pounds and they don't think uh, it would be suitable for those over six foot or over 200 pounds um, but they did say it's the best recreational kayak I've used um, the one I kind of got a snicker at was the three star one because right at the beginning they stated that uh, they knew it's not a white water uh, kayak but they decided to go down some class one and class two rapids ended up getting tipped over and the seat came out and they had to go snag the seat so it's like they give it a three-star review doing something that the boat was not designed to do um so i kind of really threw that review out and said it really wasn't that helpful uh going over some of the specifications it is a 10 foot. Uh, I know there's some areas that require uh, permitting of anything over 10 foot. Here in Oregon, uh, non-motorized boats from 10 to 12 feet still require a uh, permit. It's relatively cheap, so I really wasn't too worried about it. It's 43 pounds, which when I was lifting my friend's kayak, the uh, Perception Swifty 9.5, it seemed a lot lighter than hers. Uh, for some reason, I did take a look at the weight of hers. Hers is actually 44 pounds, so it's only a pound difference. But for some reason, trying to load that kayak up, it seemed like it was about a good six, seven pounds heavier than mine. Uh, it does have a capacity of 300 pounds, so I'm five foot nine and about 230, 235. So I got a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to uh, adding some stuff to it or carrying out some gear for fishing. I, I may include an anchor. Um, I know I'm definitely going to get a rod holder for the front and if I grab some drinks and ice, well, ice really doesn't weigh that much, but you know, I'll be limiting myself a little bit just so I don't start burying the uh, kayak into the water. It's made out of Ram X material. I'm not up to speed on what exactly what sort of materials are what with the kayaks. I do know the high density stuff, uh, seems to be a lot more scratch resistant and a little more uh, rigid. This one seemed less rigid than my friend's Swift, um, but it seemed just as durable. It didn't seem uh, cheap at all. Let's see, it's got the removable seat, which is kind of nice. Like I said, you can uh, put that out uh, on the beach uh, if you decide to make a day trip out of something. That way you don't have to sit on the rocks. And it's got a really open cockpit. Uh, one of the things I like to do when I'm out uh, relaxing on uh, the lake is if I'm just sitting there not paddling away, I'll stick my feet out over the edges and just kind of enjoy the water a little bit. Uh, now, it does open your legs up to the elements a little bit more. So if it's colder out, it'll allow more wind in. Or if it's hot out, it'll allow the sun to beat down on you a little bit more. Um, but it does make for getting in and out of it a lot easier. 